Mr. Assessment here. Let's look at some polygons. So we are going to talk about some different ways that we can categorize or group these two-dimensional shapes or figures. First tip I want to give you, super important, has to do with these shapes on the left side right over here. I want to let you know that the orientation or the rotation of a shape does not change the shape. This is something that is so easily overlooked and this is going to help you out a ton in realizing that, well, this is a pentagon right here. This next one down is a pentagon. This next one down is a pentagon. This next one down is a pentagon. Now these top three are all the exact same version. They're just tilted or rotated a little bit and that does not change that it's a pentagon. Now those three are called a special type, uh, a regular pentagon because all sides have the same uh, length and the angles are all equal. Well, that last one is not a regular, it's an irregular pentagon. But a pentagon means a shape with five sides. And all of those fit that description. So there's tip number one. Time for tip number two. It has to do with these little lines right here. Do you know what those mean? This is necessary to understand what these shapes are telling you. So I've got in blue here a two-dimensional shape. This is called, you probably know it, a rectangle. And yes, it is not uh, flat like we normally see it. It's a little bit tilted, but it's still a rectangle because a rectangle is a shape with four right angles. And so there's another message in a rectangle, in this rectangle in particular. This little line and this little line right here are telling us something. We have equal sides. It means that this side right here is equal to that side right there. These are the exact same length, and you can use that understanding to know that it's a rectangle. Also, the fact that there are two right here means it's not the same as this one, but it is the same as this two. So this side and this side are equal right there, and those are clues. That's a rectangle. So two tips for you that can help you in solving uh, and looking at these geometry problems. Let's talk about polygons. What are polygons? Well, only three of those shapes are polygons. Two of them are not. What is a polygon? Well, a polygon is a 2D shape, two dimension. By that, I mean it goes up and it goes over, but it doesn't come out like a 3D shape, like a cube or dice or a block. It's only two dimensional, so it's flat, like a piece of paper. What else about polygons? Well, let's look at a few things here. Like I said, it's a two dimensional shape. It's also closed, so it's not um, open on some sides. So something like that. This can't be a polygon because it's open. It is not closed. Lastly, polygons have straight lines only, no curves. So if I close this guy with a curve, that can't be a polygon either. So with that in mind, which of those fit the bill? Which are polygons? Two-dimensional, they're all 2D. Are they closed? Yes, they're all closed. Straight lines? Well, a few of these don't have straight lines, so that marks them off. So, circles? Nope. And this is almost like an oval. It is not a polygon. Great, let's move on to a type of polygon. We're going to focus on four-sided polygons in this video. And polygons are, uh, let's see, let's four-sided polygons are called quadrilaterals. And you see that word quad right there? Maybe you've ridden a quad, a four-wheeler is what they're called. A quad means four. This just means four. So this is a shape with four sides. It has to have exactly four. doesn't mean four or more. It just means exactly four. And so a quadrilateral is a polygon that has four sides. Were any of those quadrilateral we do have one right there that rectangle right there okay let's move on I want to drag this definition over a quadrilateral is simply a four-sided polygon let's think about polygons as a really big group where a lot of other groups fit into it so a quadrilateral is a type of polygon so I'm going to type in quadrilateral here. Quadrilaterals are a type of polygon. They fit within the group polygons. 
And I'm going to draw a little box around this because something fancy is going to start to happen here. Quadrilaterals are also a group. And let's bring that text to the front again. There are many types of quadrilaterals. And so can you think of any quadrilaterals that, um, any types that fit within a quadrilateral? Well, you probably have heard of this one, simply called a, a rectangle. A rectangle is a type of, of quadrilateral, is a type of polygon. So what I want you to see here is that there are groups that fit in groups. And a, a big thing for this grade level is working on understanding which groups fit into other groups. Is this shape, is this figure, this and also this? And so the most helpful thing I can help that I can tell you is know the definitions. What does a rectangle mean? And does that also fit and satisfy the definition of that? So a rectangle has four right angles. Well, a quadrilateral just needs four sides. So a rectangle is more specific and it fits that description. Let's look at parallelograms and rectangles here. A parallelogram, what does it mean? Well, I've shown you a version right here. And you see the little lines. We've got the one line here and the one line there. That means those sides are equal. We've got the two lines on the other sides. Those sides are equal. Well, a parallelogram is a quadrilateral that has two sets of equal sides. Two sets of equal sides. If it has that, it's a parallelogram. So there you go. This is a parallelogram. Let's talk about rectangles. Do you see that little square right there? Do you know what that square means? It means a 90 degree angle. And rectangles have to have four of those. All four angles in a rectangle are going to have 90 degrees. And they're also going to have four sides with opposites that are equal. So I could put one line there, two lines there, and that shows us that that is a rectangle. Can you think of any other types of quadrilaterals? Well, there are a few more categories. Have you heard of a trapezoid? I've shown a few here. Often we see this type tilted, so the large sides on the bottom. But remember, the orientation doesn't matter, so this can be in any direction. So a trapezoid is like a parallelogram, except it only needs one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. Parallel mean going the same direction. Notice that this one is a lot longer than that one. So a trapezoid is not going to have uh, that necessarily, but it's going to have parallel lines so that these are going in the exact same direction. If these were to continue off, they would never touch. And this one's also a trapezoid. These guys are just angling in a little bit, but this one is parallel with that one. All right, how about a rhombus? A rhombus, to me, looks like a square tilted, or a diamond, or almost like a kite sometimes, but not quite like a lot of kites. So a rhombus is going to have four sides of equal length. Do you see the little lines there? And let's add them in blue so it's really obvious. All four sides are equal length. And that's also going to mean that all of these angles are going to be the same as each other. So I can use that same little tick mark to show the angles are the same. So that's what a rhombus is. Four sides, four right angles, or not right angles, doesn't have to be a right angle to be a rhombus. But let's talk about something very specifically. You guys know this shape. A square. Is a square a type of rhombus? Hmm, let's think about it. Squares have four equal sides. And squares have to have right angles. Rhombuses don't. So let's think about this. Squares and rhombuses. Which category fits into the other? Are all rhombuses squares or are all squares rhombuses? Think about that for a moment. Which category fits into the other one? Well, squares need right angles. So a rhombus doesn't always equal a square. Some rhombuses aren't. But all squares do have what a rhombus needs. They do have that. They have four sides of equal length. So all squares fit within the rhombus category. You can think of it back with our boxes up here that 
if you had a category for rhombuses, squares would be a little category within that. That's a great way you could think about it. So you, we've got through a lot right there. I just want to go back to those tips to close. Remember that the orientation does not matter. They can be rotated any way. And that the equal number of tick marks, the little lines, mean that those sides are equal. Lastly, some categories fit within other categories. Rectangles are a type of quadrilateral, and all quadrilaterals are a type of polygon.